A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live, and he and his whole household came to believe. Now, this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord The man believed. Jesus worked his first sign or miracle at Cana where he made the water wine at the behest of Mary, his mother. The sign in the Gospel of John is made to awaken faith and confidence in Jesus, and as a result, his disciples began to believe in him. In the second sign that Jesus works at Cana, a court official asks Jesus to heal his son who is ill. It is not clear whether he is a Jew or a Gentile, but his faith in Jesus' capacity to heal a boy at the threshold of death runs parallel to the faith shown by the Roman centurion. Without seeing the miracle, the official puts faith in Jesus' word. His son is healed and he and his whole household come to believe. Yet even here, Jesus expresses his skepticism at faith induced by signs, noting that Galileans' welcoming enthusiasm that springs from curiosity and not from the heart. What is more important is for people to believe in Jesus as speaking with God's authority and heeding his call to repentance.